Hello, Auto Insights and explain our capabilities that help you understand the distribution and patterns that exist in your data. So here's a multi-table data set sourcing from the sample assets schema in the database. Here's a sales table that has a couple of metrics, and then there is a products table with several product attributes. Let me go to the data tab and look at the join diagram. So I see that this is a star schema with sales as the fact table joined to all these dimension tables. So let me first look at auto insights feature on this data set. So I click on the bulb icon here. So the system is telling me that it cannot render any insights on this model because preserve grain is not set. So the algorithm doesn't know what's the fact table in my star schema model. Let me try the explain feature on this data set. So let me explain amount sold. And if I look at the basic facts, it is showing me the total amount value across 918k rows. And as I scroll down, I see the distribution of amount sold by various attributes. Now I can see that it's showing me amount sold only by attributes in my sales table, which is my product ID, customer ID, time, and channel IDs. So it's not considering attributes from any of the other tables in the models. If I go to Segments tab and I look at the segment definitions, again I see only Time ID and Channel ID. If I open the Settings panel, I see only the Sales table and not my complete Star Schema model. So although I have multiple tables in my model and relevant joints defined, all the algorithms in Explain are only considering the single table that the column belongs to that I'm trying to currently explain. So to reconfirm this, let me explain a column from, say, the products dimension table. Now, in the basic facts, I see that it found 21 unique values across 72 rows. So that's the size of my products table. Same with key drivers. All the correlated columns listed here belong to only product table. Segments, it is not able to identify any segment when it considers just the products table. If I click on the settings pane here, it confirms that all these results have been derived using the single table, which is products. Now, if you notice the text here, the algorithm identified that there is a star schema behind the scenes and that you need to set the preserve grain flag on your fact table so that all the tables in your model can participate in the explain algorithm. So it's clearly telling me what I need to do to consider all tables in the model. So let me go back to my data models join diagram. Let me right click on my fact table and set preserve grain. Let me save my changes and go back to the visualize tab. Since I made changes to my data set definition, I need to give it a few seconds for the process to recompute the various stats on my complete data set, but this time considering all the tables in the model. So now if I open auto insight panel, I will see insights generated from my complete star schema. Let's go back to explain. Let me explain amount sold. So in basic facts, as I scroll down, I see distribution of amount sold by attributes from all the tables. So amount sold by product category, which is coming from the products table, product category description, customer gender coming from customer dimension table. So basic facts is now considering my entire star schema model to give me these insights. Same with segments. So these are the segments with product category description, calendar year, so attributes coming from multiple tables. If I open settings, I now see all the tables in my data set and I expand each table. I see default column selection that the system has identified for me across all the tables in the model. I can of course override these default columns, select the columns of my own interest and regenerate these visits. Let me explain product subcategory now. Remember when preserve grain was not set, it only queried 72 rows in the products table. Now it's querying the entire data set with all the tables, which gives me 918k rows. If I look at key drivers, I see time ID, which is from the time dimension table as one of the correlated columns. Segments. Earlier, I could not find any segments when it considered just the products table. Now that the algorithm considers a full data set, I see interesting segments for product subcategory where the segment is identified based on columns from different tables in the model. Now, this is a lot more powerful and has more business value. So that's how I use the preserve grain flag in a multi-table star schema model to derive meaningful insights in explain and auto insight feature. Thanks for watching this video.